Hi everyone, my name is Dennis. I'm John. And I'm Ming, and this is our new show. This is how you do that. Welcome, welcome. And to celebrate the launch of our new show, we would like to give you guys a little something. Oh. Yes, yeah, so all you gotta do is join the Telegram group chat. The yeah. link is somewhere. And all the details is also somewhere. Yeah. Be smart about that. Yo, join because that's the only way you're gonna win all this. You don't have to be a dad, by the way. No, no, no. You can win it, you can give it to someone else, you can keep it for yourself. But hey, I hope you guys like the new show and we'll see you guys there. See ya. Hey guys, welcome to a new show. Right here on Takeaway. I got I got new friends today. New, new. We're not new, new friends. friends. What are you talking about? Come okay, on, right, man. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. Screen, screen wise, they don't know. Okay. Screen wise, uh, they, uh, uh, you might uh, have seen uh, them. Yeah. My name <laughs> is John. Jo- John? Yes. I'm, I'm Dennis. Hey, you hi, are Dennis. How are you going to help? Who is it? Who is it? Jolene. Jolene. You are? Uh, Ming. I'm Ming. Ming. Okay. Uh, Ming. Ming. You? Uh, no. <laughs> Why wow, he's a dad. You Ming, uh, you, Ming, dad. you, Ming, you, you Ming. Actually, that's how people call him. So you Ming, Ming you. I um, have a friend Ming called Ming you, and I have another friend called you Ming. That's me. <laughs> no, for real. Fun for fact: real. I have a friend called Han Ming. <laughs> yeah, my, my cousin, son's name is Han Ming. Oh damn! But I didn't name him after you. Don't worry. No, 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 no. That's me. <laughs> my I, my cousin's name is Han Ming also. It's a bit messed up at this point. <laughs> There's a person called you Ming, Ming you, you <laughs> Ming. Ming. <laughs> okay, okay. You. Guys, guys, this is a great start. Yes. Uh, we are here today because we are we are making something new. Yes. Uh, this is something that. I just gonna share the background, right? I wanted to do this for a very long time. Yes, I, but none yeah. of you all have kids yet, Mm-mm-mm. so I I couldn't do this. Then after that, we had kids really. Mm-hmm. Then finally, we can do. Yes. So we have a, a new additions to this content. Thank God. Uh, we've seen also a lot of our audience and our peers, the people that we've grown up with, mm-hmm. all also popping popping new ones. Hey, mm-hmm. it's either you're popping new ones or your friends are popping newer ones. Yeah, used to pop bottles, now you pop babies. Hey, <laughs> how life has changed. Shit. You're not wrong. <laughs> Apple okay. okay, 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 guys, 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 guys. Welcome to the show. Uh, this is going to be a show for, I would say the Asian dads, because we don't assume like we know what, you know, it is like in the West mm-hmm. to be dads in the oh, West. We definitely don't know. I, I think know. that one is a different no. ball yeah. game. But also I feel that because Asian dads have more stereotypes around them, yes. more stigmas around them. Uh, and we all agreed on like, okay, you know what? If anything, la, we're not trying to be gurus. No. We don't know what the heck we're doing. It's actually a pet peeve of mine. Like, People just born the kid any, and then try to teach people how to be parents. Right, mm. it's a very big, very very big pet peeve. So to anyone watching, right, we are really combining the efforts, the successes, the failures, the experiences of what it is like or what it has been so far. Mm. Accurate so far, right? Very. So good. what is okay. the stereotypical Asian dad from our parents' generation? Wow, what is, what a stereotype! I know, not I know, around. I know. Not around. You cannot answer back. Yes. Oh damn! If you answer back and you do anything wrong. I can kill you yes. and make another you. Uh uh. Yeah, yeah. Huh? You don't think government don't let, huh? <laughs> I will kill you hey. and I make another you. Huh? So hey. somebody, you- somebody said that to me under uh, when I was like sub ten. Uh. So yeah. you guys got both got daughters, right? Yes. All girls. Right? All yeah. girls. Do you would you say that in our parents' generation, um Asian dads preferred sons to daughters? Mm. Yes, for sure. I mean I mean hundred I mean, percent typical Asian dad. If what about right? now? I want to just say first, you got two girls. I got two girls. He got one girl. Yeah. yeah. So just to say, John is the only dude at this table who has a dude. Okay. Like who has a dude? The yes. only dude with a mini dude. Yes. If we was maybe 20 years ago, or if my grandma was still oh, alive. I, I think I'll be stressed. Stress. Mm-hmm. Stress. Mm-hmm. Because try two times already, two girls. My grandma, which is my dad's side, right? Mm. Confirm like, eh, hey, one more lah. Yeah, confirm. Because no, no You probably will have to end up making five or six. Don't, don't, don't say, don't say this. You feel no, the yeah. pressure though. I don't feel any pressure okay. to get a guy, to get a boy. No, I'm good. I'm so good. Okay, so we have broke the, the, yeah. the cycle. We restart the day. I mean, I mean, hey, hey. I mean to, be, to, 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 guys, to me, you, a you, lot of people ask me, so then it's your second one you want a boy. I mean, Jaisal won her little boyfriend. Ah. Yeah, so that's what Jaisal won. For me, if it's two girls, I'm good. If hey, it's man. a girl and a boy, then okay, like, then it's balanced. That but would be perfect. Is your, is your parents like telling you, hey, where's nah, my grandson? No, because they, I already have my, my, my brother. Right. My brother got uh, uh. the first... Grandson in the family. Maybe you heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? It might be down to him. Yes, really? Yes. It really might be hey, down to him. Hey, hey. Yeah. You never know. Me, you first try, first born boy. Twins. Boys. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh shit. Do you have a uh, twins gene in your family? No, no, no. no. Oh, no, you guys? Probably don't have uh, no, but I recently went to a, a relative's house for Chinese New Year. Oh, damn. So the couple has uh, triplets, girls. 
right? The girls are about, First I think, 10, 10 years old now. Oh. And then they have a boy that is about one and a half now. 10 years later. The, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Let me do mathematics. Wait, Wait, we have triplets that is 10 years yeah. ago. Now oh they're 10. Gosh. And then after 10 years, you decided, hey, three hey. Years, uh, 10 years ago is too easy. Let me get one more. Hey, now. but for real, for real. The, the tiredness, right? The amount of Dude. fatigue. Oh. Maybe that's why it's oh, after yeah. 10 years. Oh, why? Accident? Uh? I don't know. I mean, I, did, I don't ask DC. Hey, it's not accident. No, I'm not going to say that. Though, but it was very eye opening actually to see the, the dynamic. Like, yeah. Triplets just scare me, you know. Like, I, I, I don't know how to talk about triplets, but a friend of mine just gave birth to a twins. Twins, yep. Right? Yep. <clears throat> um, I have one Jade. Enough already. I was like, yo, how. Can you see the fear in all our eyes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> twins and triplets. You're all like, no. <laughs> even for you to have to juggle like a, a four year old and a newborn, right? Was so it I, three uh, and a newborn? It's like five five years apart right now. Oh, it's five oh, years apart. So, so they're five years apart. And the only reason was because, you know, we wanted to space out COVID. Right, la, right. right? That, that's basically it. But I cannot I cannot bring twins at once. I, I really cannot. My friend has, my friend literally has two five year olds and one one and a half year old. They look like they haven't slept in years. Do you think you shower your your triplets or your twins all at the same time? Yes. Must be, right? Save money. Right. Save time. And then how do you... Okay, so now I have a, a <laughs> nine-month-old. Okay. Right? In order to change the my, my boy's diaper, right? I have to pin him down like right. as if I'm doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah. Like I have to yeah. put my two hands and then he's just there and then yeah. he's trying to turn yeah. and then he wiggles his way out yeah. and then we carry him and yeah. reset. How do you do it for twins or triplets? I think they You don't do. have enough limbs. Yeah, no. They have like... I saw some father, his bed got strapped one. Mm. Like the strap into the stroller. Mm, 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 and then another father, right? He don't, he don't like, uh, he don't, if there's a baby, he don't do like this or not. He turn the baby like this and the baby is under his leg. Ah, uh, okay, mm. so okay, I understand. Arm, is like, <laughs> I under understand, yeah. That you, makes sense. You, you, but I, I don't know how to do three in a row. Yeah. You, 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 all, you all should see those videos online. Uh, I think I saw on YouTube or was it in Facebook where the mother had to do like quadruplets. Yeah, you could we see the CCTV, there was four cots. The <laughs> mother went chop, 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 throw everyone on the bed. Yeah. She get one, second one, the first one, and third one, mm. then she put one in. It was uh, it was sped up and the video was like easily five minutes. Lah. So sped up five minutes, real life, half real time, half an hour. Wow, look at us um, expressing all our fears. <laughs> I think, I think, <laughs> guys, I think it's safe guys, to say. for those that are not planning to have kids, right? Like, wear protection. Hey, wait, 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 wait. We're not going to scare. We're not trying to scare you. We're not trying to scare you. I, I never planned for kids. Like my wife and same. I, we never planned oh, for kids. Same. Uh, we Accident. were very happily married yeah. for same. five years. You know, doing yeah, couple yeah, things. Yeah, you know, yeah. feeling like, hey, you know, like we we're married now. We yeah. we you know don't have to. F like, there's no. F there's, like, you live your life as two people. So where did where did you sleep? <laughs> after COVID. Uh, uh, comfortable at home. To be honest, I don't even know how it happened. Right, right. But I remember um, I was traveling. I was mm. in Europe and then for work. And then Amanda went for a holiday in Thailand. Mm. Then we got back and then she was like, oh, I'm feeling very sick. Then I'm like, ah, no la. You just go and see a doctor, you know? So oh. I went to work. And then she she said, hey, I got I bought a pregnancy test. I like, ah, okay la, better safe than sorry. But in my head, I was like, no la. Have you ever bought pregnancy test be. before that? Never. Oh. Ever. Okay, okay. All right, so she did it twice. Damn. And then I was having a meeting with oh. all, with all my, my whole team. And then, you know, like, like leading the meeting. And then I got a text. On my, my phone was on the table. And I got a text. text you. And it was not even a, a text, you know. It was actually a photo. Oh, wow. Oh. Right? Yeah, she I know, said I know. you a photo. So I opened the photo. And then it's the pregnancy test, yeah. the, the results. But I didn't know what the results meant so cool. yeah. because like, no, I knew it was a pregnancy test, but oh, I didn't know what like, the, yeah, the lines line meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I had to Google what the, the, the lines meant. And then it was just like that. I was like, oh, she's pregnant. And then my, my, my brain just stopped, Blank. stopped working yeah. for the whole day. Wait, you were in, in a meeting, right? I was in a meeting. And then uh, I didn't know what to say to oh her. My God. And then I was like, okay, we'll talk when we get home. She was like, I, <laughs> I, I, you know. That's, so that's, yeah. That's, and then nine months later, Damn. Pop the baby. Damn. My oh, man. Yeah. How did you go through it? Oh, ours, ours was different. Oh no, I remember you were really like- No, so ours, uh, we were, we were, uh, it was like mid, mid COVID really, right? right and right. then we just decided when, when we, the COVID reopened that we can go out, then we wanted to do body check. Mm. So we went to check and everything and Jazel, cause she wasn't feeling good. She wanted to do pap smear or something oh, like okay. that. Okay. Then eventually the doctor said that, hey, you have something. Uh, thalassemia, something in your family gene and whatever, whatever. Then when and check that, then they said, oh, women with thalassemia, wah, 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 is going to make it harder for you to give birth. She has other things inside that, that whole entire so-called so disease. Mm. 
it would make it difficult for women to give birth. I remember this. So then that got yeah. Jason really, really concerned. Mm. Then I remember they asked me to go and check. Mm. So I was like, okay. okay. First time I have to go and check. I have to go and test my seats. <laughs> Bro, that was the Sperm. weird. <laughs> we can use the proper term. Have you? Have you? I call it seeds, bro. They want sperm. They're like seeds. They're my. They're my swimmers, bro. Okay, okay, okay. okay. okay anyways, okay, anyways, shit. anyways. Okay. Um, back to the story. Mm. Um, you had to go and test. Yes. Have you all done that test before? Obviously, mine worked quite well, so I've never needed to test it. Have mine you? worked a bit too well. Yeah. <laughs> you see, I went and test. Now, guys. I'm going to tell you when you guys go and test, right? Go and find a, a, a legitimate one, like a place that is. No, I'm not saying the place where, that I went where to. Is go, not where are you going, Subang? Okay. Where? I don't want to say where. <laughs> some, okay, I don't say where. But the place that I went to, it looks legit, right? Then I walked in. They always do. Yeah. They didn't turn on the aircon. Oh. There was a standing fan that looks worse than my kampong house standing fan. But it's fine because they have all the stickers, the masking tape to tape the fan together. Oh! Yeah, they have a masking tape to tape the fan together so the fan don't fall off. That's how you know that place is dodgy, okay? Oh. But, 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 but this place is new. Uh. Ah, so how, 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 how? Okay, never mind. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So I went there, then I asked, how much is it to do the guy's test? Because Jazel's test was 500 for women. She did that already. So I was like, oh man. So I went and asked, what's my price? She said, here's the, uh, here's the canister. You produce into this. Uh -huh. After that, she take the tissue paper out for me. Go into that toilet over there. Uh -huh. I, oh, okay. Oh, oh. Jason was outside. I went to the toilet. Uh -huh. I was thinking, you know, we watch some movies. You have sit down, sofa, TV, magazine, give you some materials. <laughs> Okay. Go auntie and say, hi boy. Bro, you almost give me a heart attack, brother. <laughs> hey boy, you are. <laughs> okay, so this is what, what happened, guys. I opened the toilet door. <laughs> the, the toilet is huge, bro. The washroom is huge. It was only, it was just one toilet bowl. Okay. Like with a huge, uh, I think it's as big as your studio here, bro. I mean, one toilet bowl only. Legit, just one toilet bowl. Like I walk in the door, it was just one toilet bowl. And then at in front of the toilet bowl, the three windows open like that. Ta, ta, open. Uh. And then I was like, okay, so there's no AC. It's just those pink color tiles. You know, people just move into this office only. Pink color tiles. Like those okay, pink okay, color okay, tiles okay, all okay, over. Okay, okay. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Then I was starting to sweat. Really. I'm like, okay, I, I'm not sweating right now. I need to do this. I didn't, okay, okay. I didn't, I didn't wank for five days because the doctor said, uh, don't touch yourself for three days. I said, no problem. Five days. I give you good quality one. I want to show him my swimmers are good. Okay. I want to prove myself. I'm dying. But the problem was it was so hot. And the best part, right? While you are doing that, right? Can you hear the uncle? Bro, you tell me like you have to hold a cup. Uh. You have to hold your device. Uh-huh. How? 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 Where the inspiration come from, bro? I'm holding a cup and then I'm holding my device. Okay. Do what? The auntie helping you out there. Hi, boy, any help? Uh? I don't, but you know the So pain. this is the, the prelude to that advice. You show you how to. Then I did it in, it's a it, bro, I did it as fast as I could. Uh. It wasn't a pleasant experience. I was sweating. I came out, oh Jesus was like, why are you drenched in sweat? I was like, oh there's no God. AC inside there. I was about to faint. Nah, I gave to them. Bro, long story short, <sighs> my sperm came out bad. The doctor said that my swimmers were shocked, deformed because of the heat, bro. Mutated because bro, of the, the sweat, word bro. they used was mutated, bro. My, and then he said, uh, "What it means, mutated, is you have four heads linked together, and it just like that." Then they said some of them the tail got two heads, and then some one head got two tails. I like. Do you, do you need help? Then he, then, you drink water, nah? then he's like, okay, this is what you do. So Jason, you have this condition. Dennis, you have this condition. You'll need to go and buy these pills. Blah, and, blah, 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 blah. And then adopt. Then after that, we're like, okay, cool. So we went home. Then I remember there was this one day, Jason was like, there today uh, is my ovulation day. Okay. Um, doctor said, if we don't try today, then the, once my, my, my period is over, then okay. we're going to start on our pill already. Okay. Okay, she said, let's try today. I just went, I remember doing this, looking at her like that and go, let's go. Uh, you remember this of all things. Yeah. Okay, that's then, great. So remember I do the test. Dennis has said that to me before, so but for a different <laughs> oh thing. Oh my <laughs> God. 
You can't tell people like that. It's like, let's go let's for coffee. Go. <laughs> <laughs> then after that, uh, okay, okay. We, we did it. Then um, we did the test. So it's about the same time. Okay. So when we went back to go and do our, to get our report, and then we're like, oh, doctor, like that, like that. Then after we say, oh, by the way, doctor, Jason has been feeling very nauseous and like, she feel a bit like not feeling well, the stomach. Rough. Then doctor was like, hmm. Rough. Jason was like, is it possible that I, should I do a test? She was like, I'm sure, up to you, you know. But she's doubting that this will happen lah. I mean, bro, when your sperm got four no heads, No wonder bro. you don't want to say which doctor. This yeah. is. Then, then, <laughs> then after that, literally five days after that, because as soon as we child, we already bought 1,000 ringgit worth of medicine for me and Jazel just to for her to balance her hormone and for me to get my swimmers swimming good. Mm-hmm. I don't know what vitamin they gave me. I was like, oh, collagen thing. Okay, I, dr- I was collagen. drinking six pills of collagen every day. Was, oh. collagen? collagen? Collagen pills. For, okay, you know what? I have no clue why, I but he today. said, he said, do this, I do this, bro, because okay, I gotta okay, get okay. my swimmers, So we don't right? know, la, but he said. And uh. then the test kit came out posit- uh, positive. It came out pregnant. Pregnant, right? Yeah, okay. Then I was like, oh, oh, so I misdiagnosed. Oh. So I know now already, if you want to go and do a test, don't boys, go, don't go make sure the place right is- Got aircon. Yeah, you ask the doctor, doctor, show me where am I doing it? Because I had to pay 200 ringgit oh. to, to produce sh- into a plastic tube and pass it to them just to give me the result that my swimmers were deformed and mutated. But the hal is their place that is dodgy AF. Wait, this is, is this I can feel the anger and I'm very glad you got it off your system. Yeah. Can you it's imagine it's it happened to you? Do it. Like, 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 Oh, I have no idea what that is. There's oh. only one there. There's only one there. There's only one there. Yeah, yeah. We took that. Okay, okay. We, 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 we blank that out. We All right. That. So okay. that's my story. So yes. we did one try. It's legit just one try. Yeah. yeah. And came. So shout out to your sperm. Uh. Yeah. Dude, shout, that's what- Shout out to sperm. Shout out to Jade. Shout out to Jade. Jade, yeah. you the winner. Yo. Daddy love you. When, uh, when a sperm got two tails, bro, it's sure going to spin them bro, fast. He, yo, the, <laughs> bro, the funniest damn thing damn is when fast, he drew it bro. for me, when he drew it for me, I literally Uncle got drew concerned. For you. And me and Jason look at each other like, doctor, this is real. Uh. He said, yeah, it looks like that. Yeah, it's about water, bro. bro. You, feel, you feel like, you, you, feel, you, you feel some type of way about yourself you know, I as don't, a guy. I, don't, I have never had anyone tell me, bro, your sperm mutated. Bro, the, the, the word he used, I swear, mutated. it was mutated. You know, uh, I just want to say, if it happened to you, I can see, I can see like the case resolving. But I think if anyone forced John to go into an air, into a uh, aircon-less toilet to go and wang, <laughs> and you're sweating, and then he he's going through the experience, and he then better than that, right, you come out right, and you score him, hey, you're spot mutator, bro. I think I think the difference between me and John, that right? Place John, down already John, John, if John goes to that place, that place probably. Probably five star rated. Five star no, rated. I probably won't even go in the first place. <laughs> oh, because he's healthy. He yes. healthy. Correct, correct, correct. He didn't even need it. Hey, I'm healthy also. The I, doctor wrongly diagnosed me. I hope at this point you guys have gone in the feel of the show. Uh, honestly, we want to create something for all the dudes out there. Hey, and for the for the girls as well. If you want to look into the mind of guys mm, mm, mm. Uh, when it comes to this kind of thing. If you want to use the footage here to guilt treat your husband, yes, you can use it. But don't show them this particular footage. Yes, yes. Like, this I, is I a strategy. Like it. It, I right. th- we are in a place where I think a lot of us, like, I, I think the most encouraging part of our gen so far is that a lot of dads who are trying. Yes. Like seriously, I go to like shopping malls now, right? It's all like dads. Yeah holding babies and the mom is like somewhere oh. shopping. Right? New generation of dads yeah. right now. Yeah, all of us way, like, like who are willing to go and uh, go into dodgy toilets and take tests. Yeah. Okay, Dennis' version of that story is very short already. Yeah. Like the whole process was long. So you remember, I think, uh, so for the last one month, just mm. to give some context, um, Amanda and I, our, we had some issue with our help. Right, right? Our right. help uh, ran away. Apparently mm. it's a thing in, in Malaysia, it's quite common where this your, was, this was bound your, your helper just, just bounce up. Oh, right. Hey, ciao. Yeah, just ciao. Yeah. You know? See you later. And, and that's it, you know, like not, nothing can be done, mm. you know? So, mm. nothing right, can you be just done. learn to accept Cops it. Cops cannot catch them. No. No, no, don't no, say very long, very, very, very long story. Very long but story. Very long story. my point is, yeah. um, so it's been just Amanda and I, you yeah. know, and we've never had that since our baby was born. Like we were had a confinement nanny, yeah. you know, we we had some help, mm. you know, and um, it's always been okay, you know. Amanda and I, I could work throughout um, uh, my baby being born, yeah. And then I think when it happened, I think the first week uh, Amanda had to work, yeah. Right, so she came to meet you, 
Yeah. Right? She came to shoot with you. Yeah. And then you told her one thing. It's like, oh, today John's going to be alone with the baby. Yeah. You know, and when you go home tonight, um, he's going to be appreciative of you. Yes. And you were spot on. <laughs> Can I just say, Ming, Ming Han, you were spot on <laughs> because that day was the first time ever yeah. that it was just me and my son. Yeah. And... I told myself, yeah, I can do it. How, how bad is how, it, right? How bad? How it bad be? is it, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're so tired. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I don't want to go into the schedule, right, but right, right. but basically, yeah. When when Amanda came home, I was like, I love you so much. Yeah. <laughs> I love you so Yo, much. Yo, the, the, your tired. your wife don't look more beautiful than the day that she leaves you alone, the baby, and she come back home. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like explain this. I don't like explain this. But I think it's specific to people who are in a situation with no help. Yeah. Like like you you don't have the nanny, you don't have the mother-in-law, father-in-law. For some reason, everyone gone. Yeah. And it's just you yeah. and this life that doesn't know how to appreciate or communicate to you yet. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, but yes, this show, if you if you relate to that or you're going to relate to that, this show is for them, for you guys out there, yeah. for you all. Um, I think one big thing in this in this whole realm that we want to talk about, right, is life change. Mm. Like, like, like that. Like that sudden... Cause I don't know about okay like girls different kids like girls in, in general I think the girls that I know are very responsible mm. like they are responsible over something at any given time yeah. but guys let's just be honest like, we grew up responsible for what change your car la. open your coffee, pump, be on time la. be on <laughs> for shoot <la. laughs> can we have like a a, a a graphic that says how long uh, how late Dennis was so today is forty five minutes yeah the yeah. best part we got B roll from the first dash show we That's got right. today's song is forty five minutes then we'll see you next episode is how long. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Let's see, let's see where we can set record. Then if it's early, it's it's in green. But today is 45 minutes correct, in green. Correct, right yeah, here. Somewhere yeah, around yeah. here. So uh Tiss come earlier. Tissot, uh, uh, the green. Tissot, Rolex, who blood, if you want to sponsor a watch for our friend over here who's yeah, uh, I, I need a clock here. Oh, oh yeah, still also can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Seiko, let's Gen, go. Hey, Gen Z call it your time challenge, bro. What? Time challenged. What is time what challenged? Is you, you 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 have problems dealing with time. <laughs> The new gen call it there, you know. <sighs> there was a rent online, uh, bro. Sorry. You late, you late, la, bro. If I late, I say late, lah. No, yeah, I don't yeah. call it time challenge, lah, bro. Was, bro, if no, late, late, lah. Do you, do you see the, the the video of this girl on TikTok, right? She was ranting, right? And oh my gosh, why can't uh, workplaces make exceptions for people like me? Like we are time challenged. We have problems keeping according to time. We can't because <sighs> it's <laughs> just like my Asian ass was looking at this girl and like. That's not challenge. This just you're late. But yeah, shout out to our time challenge friends. Uh, <laughs> just just shouting out. But yeah, life changes. Talking about time. Talking about that. Um, we want to set the stage again. Yes. The biggest and most recent life change, like the most drastic one, is our friend here, John. Oh yes. Uh, John is not Malaysian. Y- yes. Uh, tell oh, tell the story not? about that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> really? So Man. I am. <laughs> tell the story about a that. A Singaporean mm-hmm. married to a Malaysian. Yeah. Uh, that I live. Uh, both in Singapore and KL now. Somehow you do. Yes. So yeah. it's uh, it was a change uh, that we decided after mm. our baby was born. So we used to come to Malaysia maybe once a month or once every six weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But now we we go back and forth almost every week. Yeah. You know. So uh, we primarily work wow. and live in Singapore, but our baby is here in Malaysia mm, uh, mm, most mm. of the time. Yeah. So a lot of traveling back and forth. You know, but. Yeah, so about I think close to a year ago, you know, we we set up a, a different base, like a more baby friendly base here right. in in KL. Yeah, because uh, it's more family and the small structure. Are around, yeah, parents yeah. are around. Yeah. Hey, hey. Uh, didn't say that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's been quite a lot of change, mm. but I think the biggest change yeah, that biggest? I've I've felt right was the f- the the fact that I really have a different way of jumping out of bed now. Yeah. Really? So, so oh, wow. now. My, my baby has never slept with my wife and I. My baby always slept in his, oh, own, wow. his own room yeah, since crazy. he was born. Yeah, that's good. Since he was born, um, we, we I never- know they, they, they made really a lot of effort to like do the nursery. Yeah, right? we did the nursery. Oh, we got two cameras yeah, inside, yeah, white, yeah. white shot and, yeah, and close yeah, yeah. up. White shot, you know? close up. <laughs> <We> <laughs> got over two, the shoulder. Over the filming. Uh, yeah, very soon they're going to put the Insect 360 on the kid, bro. Yeah, we use this uh, camera called Lollipop. Shout out yeah, to yeah, Lollipop. Yes, yes, Lollipop. Not Lollipop. sponsored. Not sponsored. Yeah. You see, no, he doesn't know. Lollipop is the best. So Lollipop. basically, is this is this like like sperm looking camera? Yes, it is. That you can hide it. It's like the alien with the one leg. Yeah, yeah. But it's really good, you know. So um, basically, you connect it to your phone and you get a notification and you can set the, the decibel meter yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, if your baby makes 
the noise above a certain decibel meter, mm. then you get a notification to yep, your phone. Yep. And every device that's connected, so my wife's phone, my phone, yep. our iPads, email, my, everything, yeah, whatever. Everything, everything yeah. right? Yeah. So um, it works wonders, you know. Mm. So it'll joke you out, on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's noise like, like my my your, baby, your baby is crying loudly. Oh, gotta go, yeah. you know, yep. yeah, that kind of situation. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so you know, I think. Since since we didn't have help, you know, we always kind of. I mean, my wife and I from the beginning, we always took the night shifts, you know, because our mm, our yeah. confinement nanny was quite old, right. so we we didn't really want her to to have to wake up through yeah, the night, yeah, and yeah. she's very good in the day, so yeah, yeah. we've always been taking the night shift. Right. But now it's like every time I hear a baby cry, Tum. my body jumps out of bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, like, like it never happened. Yeah, like I mean, throughout my entire twenties, yeah, I'm I love to snooze. Like I wake up, I set my alarm earlier so that I have the time to snooze for 30 minutes so wow. that I'll be on time. Right? Wow. So if I have to wake up at say eight, I'll set my alarm for 7.30 just to snooze. The eight. privilege to snooze. Yeah, the, the snoozing just feels nice. Yeah, you know, yeah, I just like yeah. it. Damn. But now there's no such thing as snoozing. You know, <laughs> yeah. your alarm is the baby cry. Mm, yes, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I don't even need to set alarm because my baby automatically wakes up at like between seven to, to 8.30, oh my God. you know, oh, and Really funny story. So when my wife and I were away in Singapore, mm. my mother-in-law um, trained my baby to, to 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 poop in the potty first thing in the morning. And wow. for the last one and a half weeks or two weeks, Damn. the dude is potty trained. And he's like wow. nine months. Yeah. But That's it's a long easy. process. Like, yeah, I wake yeah, him up. Course, I sit him on that, that tiny little and potty. Wait. He, and he, no, wait. no, wait. He. We go. Mm -mm. Ah. And then you just do it for like, Five minutes. Sometimes it happens within the first minute. Sometimes Damn. it takes five minutes to, to happen. But okay, shout you. out to him, man. Wow. Yeah. Hey, and it's great because it's uh. such a accomplishment. Because it is. It okay, is. I I am really bad with baby shit. Like I cannot. Like you can ask my wife. Like I'm literally so close to puking on my baby oh. every single time. You know, so I cannot feed him corn. I cannot feed him like dragon fruit. Stuff. Yeah, if the I see the stuff. seeds yeah. or if I see like like things that don't digest, right? And it's not <laughs> it's not like 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 dog shit. I can do deal with dog shit because That's dog mad. shit is in its in its purest form. You know, it's not smashed. But you know dog shit when oh, you step on it, right? right. Oh, you cannot, uh. oh, so in a diaper, it naturally gets smashed. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, and yeah, 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 but I'm so happy that yeah. we went on that trip and my mother-in-law decided to potty to train. to potty train nice, him. I don't nice. think he's like hundred percent potty trained, but Bro, give him some it, time. It, yeah. it, it, it helps a lot. He, right. he, he yeah. can go do potty himself. Uh, cannot walk yet, bro. That's mad, bro. Thank you. Thank yeah, but you. is it the potty yeah. like you, you put on the toilet bowl? No, no. We bought a mini oh, potty. Bowl I can't remember one. the brand. My yeah, my, no, my yeah. wife buys right, a lot right. of these things. Yeah, and yeah. It really looks like a proper toilet bowl yeah, because his legs are too short, so you can't sit on the ground. So I have to sit on the floor facing him, and then his legs has to be on my leg yeah. so that he looks like a, a actual human and because yeah. he still can't walk so i'm literally holding him <laughs> while he's pooping straight. and you know adults right when you poop you know you poop because it you can hear the water sound yeah you know yeah. but because cannot. this one goes straight into like a into toilet paper yeah so yep. you can't hear it it's just like you know so smell. every yeah, oh, it's yeah every it's couple yeah. of seconds you gotta look and look yeah, and then yeah, so I'm I'm very happy about that. So I wake up that's early nice. so that my son doesn't puke in up uh, I mean poop, poop in, in his diaper. diaper. That's a, that's know. motivation. That's the motivation. That's motivation. Like today, yeah. I got up at six forty five because of the shit. Because of the poop, you know. And I told myself, would I rather change <laughs> poop in a diaper or would I rather Dude, help him poop? I rather help you. Him poop. You discover new things about yourself. Yeah, and what really drives you yeah. as a human being? I used to hate naps. Me as oh, a, as wow. an adult, I, I I used to not have to nap. Now and now whatever chance I have, I nap. Damn. Yeah, it's crazy. I think I think that that time where we'll save it for another day. That time where your your mate really just asked you guys, right? That whole time where you and Amanda took hundred <laughs> percent control of the baby, like the mood, the energy levels, the dedication you guys did swapping back and forth, right? And mind you, uh, like compared to a lot, a lot of other couples, right? These guys are still going back and forth from yeah. Singapore here with the wow. work. The, the that switch I think you guys must have had must be drastic. Yeah, I would say, um, I I kind I'm kind of I mean Amanda kinda. would kill me, but um I'm kind of happy that it happened. Mm. Yeah, you know because I've heard of of that, so I've heard of parents who has never changed the diaper before, and it's very easy. You know, once you mm. you have help, you have nanny. You know, like I would say for for my son, the first three four months mm. when we had mm. the confinement nanny, um maybe I changed diapers. Less than ten times. You don't need to touch what? Yeah, I don't have to. Some nannies don't even let you. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, my, yeah. My nanny didn't really... Yeah, she she wanted I wasn't that good. I mean, she would... Uh, I mean, if I wanted to do it, she would let me do it. She would right, say, right. no, nipukai. Right, right, right. You correct, know, correct. but um, I didn't I didn't see the need to. Right, you right. You know, but uh, I would say it It was a good... Ex- I mean, it, it's a... It's, I'm kind of happy mm. that we were forced into the situation right. as well because it kind of makes me a lot more proud to be a, a father. And it also taught me to communicate with my wife better. Nice. You know, I think it's it's one of those things where I feel like a lot of parents, mm. you know, and I've and I see this a lot um, with our age group as well. A lot of divorce happens within the first two years of the first child being born. Yeah, you know, and I can kind the, of understand and see the why. Stress, right? Yeah, the stress level is different. Yeah, you yeah, know, the because pressure, a lot. A yeah, lot. The, the 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 amount that you had to compromise as a, a individual, it's. Probably yeah. three, four, five full of what you used Both to have. Parties. To, yeah. You know, you can't afford to be selfish the, anymore. The sleep I think deprivation is the MSG on top. Oh no, for sure. Oh my gosh. For sure. That is the the cause the of trigger. all evil. Yeah. The trigger yeah. points. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you angry? Cause yeah. not enough sleep. But I think one yeah. thing I would encourage everyone to do or say as well mm. is you know, the moment you have a a, a newborn or your your right mm. now your your wife is pregnant, like you really have to find ways to communicate with your partner. Yeah. I think yeah. that's the most important. I think three yeah. of us are very lucky we're sitting here because um our partners are cool. Super cool. You know, they're all still married. Yes. yes. Still still married Thank as God. of today. Thank God. <laughs> yes. Last tomorrow. day you got watch why it's too late. No, late. <laughs> we, we need to put a jab counter. How many times already? Can I, can I already today? Yeah. But okay, real real question, right? Yes. I don't know whether you guys felt this as guys, right? The that first time you were left alone with a kid, was there were you scared? Yeah. I, I'm I legitimately was scared the first time, like like uh, the nanny left the house. Mm-hmm. Wow, already like, okay, the confinement lady child. Okay, cause so, so preface, uh, until today, the only help we get is if my mother-in-law is around mm-hmm. or there's mm-hmm. uh, the confinement lady for like the first one month. We don't even extend the confinement lady's time. I know some people can extend until like- yeah, Two months, three months. Two months, three months, right? Depending yes. on the confinement lady, right? Like really, if it's, if it's a blessing, it's a blessing. Mm-hmm. Cause somebody's confinement is super pro one. Yes. Like superbly pro. I love my confinement yeah, lady. Yeah, the food. Yeah. The like food when she wanted the leaf, I wanted to hold her leg. <laughs> Like you don't know which is that. <laughs> the woman is like, yeah. oh, who's the baby? But my confinement nanny taught me how to be a parent. Yes. I would say like the way that she was with the baby was mm. not natural for my, my wife and I, right, but right. Um, the way that she interacted. With it. She talked to my baby mm. as if my baby understood everything we said. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that was, she kind of set the precedence of how we wanted Your to approach tone, things as well. The, yeah. The treatment, yeah. If, you get, if you get a good, actually, yeah, if you get a good com- confinement lady, right? Uh, you, really set the tone or it helps already for the first stage of their life. Yeah. Especially those who are like, like willing to tell you what to do. And because I've heard like nightmare stories, we were, wow, so many things to talk about that they lock the baby with them at night and don't let the parents go into the room. Go on. Really. And it's closer to home. You might know a few of these people mm-hmm. already. I'm not like, like that These guys what? are very like, hey, the dad don't touch the baby. You don't do my job for me. Let me show you what to do. And they are like unforgiving to a point where uh, you cannot eat this, you cannot eat this, you should do this, you should do that. Mm-mm. So I think that's <sighs> where your role comes in and like, hey, yeah. shut up, that's my kid. Yeah. Uh, you do, you you play oh, yeah. by our rules. So like in, in Singapore, um, mm. compared to KL, obviously, the houses in general are a lot smaller, right? We're talking about the large population, mm-hmm. right? So most of the time, people can't, um, afford a uh, confinement nanny, not monetary wise, but there's just right. no space for the confinement oh, yeah. nanny okay, to, okay. to to live in. You know, you're talking about. So what's very popular is confinement centers. All right. How old though the baby can be there? Uh, usually one, two months, I think. One, two months, same yeah. thing. Same, same, same as here. Right? Yeah. yeah, but so you go to a center. La, you right? go to uh, a center. Yeah. I, I feel like the confinement centers, are, it helps with the recovery for the mother, yeah. Yeah. but it doesn't necessarily help the couple Realize. No, dude, the, the shock after you leave. Uh. Mm-hmm. No, you're going back to your house. Yeah. So, so, so one thing that I learned during that confinement time, and, and I learned this through mm. all, with all my friends who, who had the experience. Mm. I think it was one, so I can't remember who told me, he said, Dennis, if you can, um, I think my friend told me himself, he was the one who told me he has never changed the baby's diapers. And he mm. don't know how to change the baby diapers mm-hmm. until now. So I remembered when during confinement time, the nurse came in on like the second day and was showing us how to change diapers. I recorded. I I said, <laughs> I must learn. I don't care. I right. must learn. Right. Because I know that that would be the most important thing if mm. if like wife go out, 
my mom's not around, Kaima's not around, mm-hmm. just me and the baby. Mm-hmm. The baby poop inside there. Am I going to leave the poop correct. inside there or am I going to change it? Correct, correct. So have you ever pretended that, that you didn't see the poop? You didn't see the poop. Oh, no. No, the poop is damn strong. Mm-hmm. It's damn okay. strong. <laughs> you heard it? <laughs> oh, but 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 back then the, the the okay. So for Jade back then when when she poop is you know like it's just messy, it's just everywhere like oh that, right? Gosh. But Christian is that my daughter is pretty much like me, so she's Late. no, she's const- poop, uh. constipated. Wait, oh, constipated. Oh. Yeah, she has constipation. It's very sad. It's very sad to see oh, a, no, your little girl. Yeah. You see her face, then she's sweating and actually, everything. Uh, you know, actually, John, that's actually a very good point. If you can't time poop right, you gotta make sure your kid never gets constipated. Yeah. These are the things you gotta do for your kid. Bro, yeah, we have to yeah. take her butt up, open oh. up. My mom said last time they used to pick to dig out my poop. I'm like, oh. I gotta do that too. Then I'm thinking like, it's well, yeah. someone did that for me. I gotta yeah, 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 do yeah. it. And then my mom said, you gotta apply, apply Vaseline and then you have to help to press, to right. push. I'm no, like, I use this Chinese um, oil. I can't remember what it's called. I know what it looks like. It's like oil? red. Yeah, I think so. Oil, yeah. yeah. So we, we rub his stomach Tummy, every, yeah, night. Yeah. every night. Yeah, uh, that, that one every night. I, and we I make like sure that smell. he gets like enough vegetables and it's water. fiber. Water. Water is the trick. Just, yeah. just water up your kid. Just drink water. I think, I think the problem with Jade was because uh, she started to like to eat snacks which is like biscuits, oh, okay, Chinese okay, New Year okay, snacks. Okay, okay, and I think these are the things that made that happen. Mm-hmm. Okay, fears. This is literally all about fears. Is there one thing that you're scared to do with the baby? Like for you, for example, change the diaper, mm. right? What is the biggest fear of the baby now? I mean, I can say the president's right. Like you needed to record like the kid being a uh, diaper change. I was damn scared to give my kid a bath. Like mm. I'm terrified of the whole like, you know, when they're still at the fragile area, oh, right? yeah, which yeah, is like yeah, still yeah. Where, where a kid is, right? Like they don't really know how to like move or do mm-hmm, things in their body mm-hmm, yet. Mm-hmm. Wow, I can't. I, I lost count of how many times I sit down in the confinement lady, like sitting down there next to her bathing, and just see what she do. You know, like how you hold the kid. Like if they wiggle, then the face go underwater. They die or not? That kind of thing. One, it really. I was freaking terrified because like uh, Suyen works on weekends, so like it or not, right? Sometimes she's gone for nine hours. You know, don't talk about diaper. Uh, I need to bathe the, the kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like that that process of like. How do you how do yeah, you, you, hold? you have to hold one hand? Yeah, someone you, you one head. hand needs to be support, right? One yeah. hand needs to be water, soap, towel, everything. everything. And you can't actually bathe the kid the same way. So that was my biggest fear. Not the poop. Because by that time, right, I'm quite lazy sometimes. You just take out the pants like this, I can spray the kid. <laughs> and then he's done. Lah. You just like save tissue paper, save uh save wet wipes. My fear was bathing the kid. Mm. That's it. That's just the biggest one. Like, what is your most dreaded task? Nappy? It's all nappy? Now, now, mm. uh, nothing. I mean, I, I'm kind of, cool. I'm kind of like, uh, eased into the whole situation. What I damn. don't like is the washing. Like the amount of washing that oh, you have to do, the I, bottles damn. and- No. Yeah. Bottles, huh? at, your, at the stage where he oh, he's oh, at between oh, the oh. confinement to the eight, nine, ten months oh, wow. time when you yeah. constantly, oh, every yeah. two hours, three hours, <coughs> you just- yeah. Yeah. At, and to get used to it, yeah. uh, whoa, so I think it took uh, my baby at six months, my wife wanted to do uh, baby led weaning, and, and it's not the the oh. washing of the bottles that 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 is tiring. It's I mean it, it's like a crime scene every time he eats, oh, and it's three times gosh. a day, you know, oh, you know. So then you you figure out what foods are really difficult to clean. So mm-hmm. like bananas, oh my gosh, bananas are the hardest to clean, it's, it's you know. Like, and then he paste. he doesn't even eat it. You know the baby led weaning. I mean my wife is very insistent yeah, yeah, on she, it, you know. And, it, and yeah, I yeah. and I support her for it. I, yeah, yeah, I try yeah, my best go. to support her that's for it. That's the goal. That's the goal. Okay. But oh my gosh, it's really a crime yeah. scene. Everything. And then I have two little sausage dogs. So my sausage dogs are just hovering around, waiting for the food to drop on the floor because they figured it out. You know, they're just waiting. They're like, all right, man, throw me some food. Yeah. All right, throw me some food. Yeah. And then the baby obviously Three knows time. the dogs are there. Yeah. And then he takes the food and wants to throw it on the floor. Yeah. So I cannot yeah, keep no. my eyes off the whole situation. Yeah. And on top baby. of that, I have to feed him. Animal oh kingdom. Yeah, it was tiring, man. And it's still tiring. Three times a day, I, I think that that cleaning, yeah. you know, uh, that's the tiring part. We, 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 we got a really big like uh, seat. The IKEA one has a really big yeah. dish. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. And Suyen found this canvas where you put underneath yeah. the mm, baby seat. Mm, 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 and after Haley and uh, Haley was done at that time, just remove her, take the seat outside, spray it off, take the canvas done. I do not have dogs. So that mm, saves mm. a lot. But it was what well, bananas do it like. Yeah. Let's not go into the food yeah. details right now. But, mm. but that's it. Then is what was your fear? Do you have a fearful task? A lot. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> No, no la, but I mean, Jade, 
um, technically she is not very difficult to take care of. Oh, that's great. Mm-hmm. Like my mom, even my mom said that my dad, um, who who don't really take care of kids and all that, yeah, he yeah, he yeah. he is fine taking mm-hmm. care of Jade by himself. Mm-hmm. So my mom is very proud of my dad for that. Uh, other than that, the only thing that I scared is when we bring Jade out and she gets very excited, she would scream at at top of her voice, and she and she is she's a bit like me and Jazer. She's a bit um uh, like mischievous. Mm. She already know how to like you start at this tone like uh, and then she will uh, and then you uh uh, then she will she will fight with oh, Jazer yeah, until the love. highest pitch one, and she yeah. will. Yeah, your baby. She will go higher pitch and higher pitch. She will just uh, go like yeah. riff with uh, Jazel, see who go higher, and Jade knows how to keep going higher. Uh, then she. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. So your 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 fear yeah. is noise. No, <laughs> not my fear. Oh, in general, everyone around me. Uh. She is very loud, and for me, mm. is of course I I want to I want to believe, and I want to keep mm. to the the belief that. I want my my daughter to be able to express herself because yeah. what if this <clears throat> is her voice and she likes to sing or, or whatever? And if I tell her, shut up. Oh, damn. Like, like imagine when we were younger and our parents always tell you to shut up and shut up and shut up. Damn. And all you know was to shut up. Mm-hmm. Eventually, when you grow up, you become introvert, but you were not That's introverted. Yeah, yeah. It's mm-hmm. that your parents just say, shut up. And you tell yeah. yourself, I think the right thing to do is just keep quiet. Yeah, my dad, mm-hmm. when we're sleeping, he will come to the room, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, I heard you talking. Now what? Oh, I, I, quite, I snoring. That's Shut quite up. a good story. Cause like, like, cause one time we were sleeping, we were dead ass sleeping. My neighbor kids were making noise, <laughs> but my dad don't know, right? So my dad came in one time. Hey, he's really ah, you don't make noise, idiot. I'm like, what the hell? My brother and I woke up. And we were sleeping. Then okay lah, like, okay, dad, we're not making noise. So he closed the door. Oh, after he closed the door, my neighbor kids went up one more level, like screaming, playing some shit. My father didn't play games. The next time he opened the door, his skin already whoopers in bed, bro. Oh, bam, bam, bam. Shut up, I told you, shut up. I mean, you look back at it now and we can laugh. But can you know, do you know how it wasn't, it wasn't traumatizing in the fact that it was just more confusing. Like, what are we getting ass whooping for? But on that note, on that note, okay, this is a great place to like, I think wow. that's, that's, no, no, for real. I'm, I wish I was joking. It's a real story. We, we, I grew up with a, uh, with a, uh, that's with, uh, mad. Was your dad's like the, the hot tempered dad's? Or like the chill dad? Uh, on a scale of hot tempered to chill? My, my dad is a chill dad till he's hot tempered. Oh my, yeah, hot I feel tempered. like most Asian okay, dads are chill dads until till they're hot they tempered. Are hot oh, was it like Iron yeah. Fist dad or like, I will kill you and make another one dad? Mm, like we just talked about. Both. Probably both. both yeah, okay, probably okay. somewhere in between. Yeah. Yeah. So that leads me to the last part of this episode for now. Mm. Yes. Okay. We talked about like life changes and fears, right? Let's talk about like, I think, I think what most of peop- like people are ex- ex- experiencing right now. I don't want kids. I'm scared to be a parent. Uh, I fear this. I fear that. Right. Like, like the biggest, I think the biggest hurdle, what was their biggest hurdle? Like, for example, my biggest hurdle becoming like a dad was that I was very scared that I would become the normal for my kid. You know, like, like if I didn't deal with like my issues first, right? My kid would take me as that reference of a person, you know, like, let's say, uh, I mean, uh, not, not my issue, but, but let's say if you're a very like envious person, for example, right? And you know, it's okay one with your adults, right? And then we envy, envy, like, then we know lah, like, ah, yeah, that person, like, you know, he's always like, don't worry about it lah, like, you know? Mm-hmm. And then I can also have a coping mechanism as an adult to adult, right? But as a kid, right? And if that leaks out to my kid, right? They don't yeah. know. Yeah. They don't know. And they were like, oh, uh, I guess that's a normal way to function. That is the normal way. And because like my dad was like, for example, the beating stuff, right? My dad a damn hot tempered father. Like he's the kind of father, if you go and do something shit, I'll drop it aside the road. <laughs> you walk home, ah. you know, don't misbehave. I was scared that hey, maybe I'm missing something that I am doing right now. And that would pass over to my kid. Like mm. that was my hurdle. Was like, did you guys have like this kind of like, shucks, I'm not ready to be a parent because. What was your because? I think for me, mm. I, at that point, because I, I had Minghan to advise me all the time. I was talking to Minghan all the time, even before I even thought of having kids. Three years before I even had a kid, even before I was married. Even when I was I, like, Minghan, you just gave birth, right? How? Ah? Yeah. He was teaching me when Basically, Haley was like I, just I born. My legs, bro. He, he, he opened his leg to show me how he gave birth to Haley. 
No, he actually showed me how how to uh, burp Haley. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember how to spin and burp. Yeah. Then I did that for Jade, and people are like, "Wow, Dennis, you're very experienced." Yeah, I learned from Minghan three years ago. <laughs> so I, I I learned a lot from Minghan, and even that, I knew that no one will ever be ready until your baby pops out. Now, even your baby pop up ready, you're still not ready mm-hmm. because when your baby is one month after that, it's a new baby. Two months year old, another new baby. Reach one year old, a new baby. Now my daughter is two years, four months old. Damn. Totally different baby. Last week, she couldn't climb the bed. I still had to help her. This week, I opened the door. She just ran in the room. Mommy, pop. I just, she just went up the bed by herself. When did she grow taller? I didn't know. It's just one week difference. So, so every week is a new baby. So no fears, just do. No, it's just forever fearing. <laughs> But still doing. <laughs> okay. Okay. But yeah, yeah. I, I guess, yeah, it's along the lines of like, you were more positioned to like, I want to have a kid, right? I remember like- No, you, it was it was, it was was a, a lifelong sort of like dream of mine to, to have not yeah, just a kid, to have like, okay, what's your biggest goal in life? My biggest goal in life family, is yeah. my family. Mm-hmm. Like I want to have a kid and to have a kid to have a kid. Like if I, if I can live long enough to see my own grandkid- Oh, damn then I think my life is pretty complete. And to me, yeah. that would be mm. success. Just built different, bro. Yeah. yeah. To me, it's just all, it's that. So that is the only reason why mm. people say, Dennis, you you know, you could could have not have a kid, but I'm like, but since 16 years old, I told myself, I want a family. Yeah, then so for you- those people who, hey, Dennis, I don't know how you do it. Hey, since y- if it's not for you, just don't have since kids. Since 16 years old, you always want to have a family. Yeah. yeah. Then why you deal all those crazy bitches, bro? Because, <laughs> because, because, <laughs> Yeah, I got answer for that. I got answer. I, I got answer. I really, because as I'm I, ready, cause as, I was as, there. As I grew older, I realized that girls don't really go for good guys. So then I became the bad boy to find the bad girls. Then I really realized all girls are girls. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. Just leave it at that. Let's get back to that another episode. You, we we will talk about that episode. in the next episode. <laughs> John, was there? Was there? Okay. This is quite interesting because I think the stresses across the small causeway are different. Oh, uh, uh, yes. They're monumental. I, I, bro. Yes. After, yeah, after getting to know John like as a dad now and then like all our peers coming alongside and like getting poisoned by John's baby, right? Like, <laughs> like all wanting their own families, right? No, because really, like I think out of Singapore, right? In my whole peer circle, uh, only you have a kid, you know? The rest of them now want kids. Uh. Yeah, like... Wow, how to consider like, yeah. education, like, uh, space in our house, like, like very different set of worries compared to oh, yeah. like we're really chill over here. Here is more of like, wow, my kid going to get real dumb when they go primary school. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's a very different set of worries. Yeah. Did, you, did you come over to that, 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 that first hurdle yeah. of talking to Amanda? Like, hey. Oof. Okay, so Amanda throughout the mm. entire time that I've known her, she, she's not particularly good with kids. You know, like other people's kids, you know, like, I mean, she's, she's there, you know, she's, play she's play, play, play but you, you, you know how there are some women that are really very good with kids, you know, Amanda wasn't like that. Mm-hmm. So I think it was never a case where I, I told myself, wow, you know, I see my wife so good with kids. I yeah. so want my own. That, yeah. that feeling never really happened. Right. So I think, I mean, when we had a kid, you know, I, you always ask the question, what kind of father would I be and what kind of mother would my yeah. partner be, right? Yeah. You know, so, I mean, at the back of my head was like, I mean, my expectation is not very high, la, to be fair, la, you know, because like, I mean, she already said the president and yeah, she yeah, knows yeah. it herself. Yeah, I'm not really good with, with kids. I don't know how to interact with kids. I don't know. Like, it, it, like it, there's you no- You set the stage there. La. Yeah, yeah, but I think in the last, since my baby was born till now, I mean, my wife is a, damn good mother. Damn. She's a very, like, like I, she thinks about things, right, that for me, it's like, I don't need her. You know, <laughs> but yeah. she would do it, you know, and like, I see her interact with my son, it's like, yeah. wow, you know, like, where, where was all of this? You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I honestly yeah. believe like, the, uh, like females somehow after giving birth, right, yeah. somehow they would turn into this motherly being. Yeah. Like, Jazel is, is is exactly like what yeah. you say. Like, after that, now you see how, I see how Jazel interacts with Jade, right? Like, to me is, like, mommy is to Jade everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? And and there's no way that, mm. that mommy is not there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's like a biological switch it's that just turned on. I think yeah. for guys, it's a little bit different. Yeah. I think ours, it, it's a more gradual process you know comes i mean you didn't you didn't get pregnant you didn't have to pop a, mm. a, a baby out but 
yeah, I mean that was that was pretty much yeah. the 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 craziest um yeah. thing that ever happened to me. Uh, the the switch in guys is different. Yeah, I don't know if you guys felt it. The yeah. switch in guys is, I got to provide now. Yes, yeah. like yes. different game, like whole different oh, game. Man. Don't go in, don't go in, yeah. don't go in. But there. back to your question yeah. about <laughs> yeah. the, the worries of, I guess Singaporean ah, families. The fears, the I think my wife and I established the fact that I mean I'm I'm Singaporean and she's Malaysian, so yeah. we've always wanted to, and our son is is both, you know, so he's going to grow yeah. up with with peers um, from Malaysia and he's going to grow up with peers from Singapore. Yep, yep. I think we always wanted to, I mean, till now we still want to show him both sides. Yeah. You know, I mean, there are things that we we worry about in Malaysia and there are things that we yep. worry about in, yeah, in Singapore. But I think we also know that there's only so much you can plan mm. and there's only so much that you can be worried about. You know, I think for us, yep. we are fortunate and and unfortunate in the same in the in the same aspect where mm. we have to deal with both sides. You know, we have to deal with the problems that Singapore mm. uh, provides, and we have to deal with the problems that Malaysia provides. But yeah. you know, um, he's going to grow up with the identity. I mean, no choice. It'll you be know? interesting. Yeah, he's going to be different uh, in that sense. And we, you know, I mean, he still has to possibly serve national service. You know, so oh, yeah, huh? yeah, you know, it's How it's. Does that work, huh? So well, at, depending at on 18, the citizenship, uh. yeah, he, oh, he true, has true, to true, true, true. he has to serve national service. I mean, this, the, he still has to go through that, yeah. you know. But you know, I think one thing that I I want to encourage him also is not to run away from Respons- problems and responsibilities, mm-hmm. which is something for me. I try to avoid at all costs sometimes, you know, because for, like that was just the way that I was in my twenties. Yeah. You know, it's like if oh, if I got reserve is, um, I try to see whether um, oh, I have worked. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I guess I can't go. You mm-hmm. know, but I think or, or, or IPPT, you know, which is a physical test. Like oh, if I if I don't have to go, oh, you pay a, a hundred and fifty dollar right, fine. Right. I'm like yeah, okay, okay. I rather just pay the fine because right. it's opportunity oh. cost. Oh, my bad, my bad. Oh, oh. Okay, Singapore government. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, so yeah. So now I I will just take on all these responsibilities head on. Uh. Right. You right. know, I think, I like you said. You know, you, what is that normal? Yeah. You know, so in order for my child to be able to to see what that normal is, I have to set the example. Yeah, uh. yeah. You know, jumping out of bed. Like if yeah. I'm gonna snooze and then I'm gonna have to be late. You know, then my son might be late for school. You know, yeah. and then teachers are going to come to me. I don't have to deal with that. You yeah. know, I don't have to deal with teachers. I mean, that's probably going to be down the road, you yeah. know, but for now, yeah, you know, just trying to set that example is exhausting. It's yeah. extremely exhausting because mm. I'm the kind of guy that I I will work 100% and then when I want to relax, I really relax 100%, yeah. you know, like play hard and, and work hard. Yeah. But then now I have to realize that I have to just work hard and maybe play like 30% and I have to learn to be okay with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because when you come home from work, there's another set of eyes looking. Yeah, play. yeah, that's that's really it. Yeah, yeah. I I think I think just to just to wrap it up, guys. Uh, for everyone listening to this point, I think the whole goal is that we don't have no idea what we're doing. Everyone makes it as it go. We go along. Yeah. Everyone's scared every single day. Yeah. Um. But somehow, I think for those who who are more worried than not, I think I think nowadays like more people worried about kids. The minute the kid is in the world, right? You just make it work. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, it's it's have to. You will. You I will. think there was there's yeah. a drive that, how I say uh, I told Suyan, I think to me we all have. We will definitely talk about this in another episode. The whole issue of money is like very different to everyone. Mm. Mm. For me, right, I really felt no use earning money until I bought my first tin of milk powder, mm. and that changed like my whole concept of earning money. For example, but yeah, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, and if you guys, I know if you're just there and like wanting to figure out something like this, comment and we'll definitely talk about it. We want to build a space where it's it's enough for just guys to be guys and talk about the fact that we don't know anything. Mm. And uh, we pretty much rely on our wives 100% of the time. Yeah. <laughs> and so, you, I mean, it's it's honestly like what Jayza will always say also is it's mm. fine that that we as parents, we we uh, admit to ourselves that we yeah, really yeah, don't yeah. know anything. Yeah. And it is fine that we hear advices from our friends yeah, and our yeah. peers. And it is fine yeah. for you not to follow. It is fine. Yeah. Because yeah. At, at the end of the day, that child is your responsibility oh, yeah. and it is yours to, to, to grow with and to teach and to nurture and to yeah. guide. Yeah. So it's really whatever you want to do, but do it responsibly. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. Not one size does not fit all. 
Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, that's your responsibility. And mm-hmm. the kid, every child is different. All our child's character and temperamental. Technically, mm-hmm. literally, daughter and son is shoot, you know. Uh, and and I, I... I don't get PP gun in the face, bro. Correct. Yeah. Both of us don't get PP <laughs> gun in the face. He gets it every day, oh I guess. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you see his face? Yeah. He's like, just got it this morning. <laughs> uh, guys, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, it's John, Dennis, all socials are going to be at the bottom episode. Yeah, feel free to drop by any of the platforms or whatever followings we have. Drop a message, drop a question, drop anything. And we'll, guys, we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, this is how you do that. Damn. Bye Peace. Guys.